Hey guys, it's Danielle. It is Wednesday, <clears throat> October 24th, 2014. And this is going to be my week 91 post op lap band update along with my 30th week of pregnancy update. Um, lap band related. Sorry, this video is going to be long, guys. I apologize right now. Um, lap band related. I lost 0.2 pounds this week. Uh, last week I had like a 3.4 gain. It's whatever. Um, so it makes me 194 total, 24 pounds up since pregnancy. It is what it is. I did go and see my lap band clinic today. Went and talked to them. Had some fluid removed from my band because I've been having issues getting in firm protein for the past few weeks now. Um, had one cc removed. We did aspirate it all and there were 6.4 total. So I'm at 5.4 in my 10 cc allergen lap band. Um, <clears throat> of course their scales did show a gain. I did not ask what the gain was from the last time I was there. Um, so yeah, have one cc out and I was able to eat lunch fantastically. I had chicken and no issues. So that was amazing. Um, Monday night, I actually had a PB episode where I had eaten, barely eaten two ounces of steak, some asparagus, and, uh, had three PBs. So stuff came up three times. So that was fun. I haven't had a PB in a long, long time. Um, and it wasn't really fun. Guys. <laughs> um, pregnancy related. Also, I just looked in the mirror. Sorry if you see all the bleeding happening on my curtain. I have no idea why. I, I've used this curtain in the past and didn't have this issue, and now I do, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, that is it. I have 5.4 cc's in my lap band. I am not planning on going back to the clinic till February-ish after the baby is here. Um, I'm for sure going to wait at least six weeks after delivery before I go back. So we will see how that goes. Um, baby related. This week the baby is the size of a cabbage or 1.57 inch, 1, 15.7 inches long it says, or 2.75 pounds. Um, so baby's getting big, baby is growing, the baby is making me tired. Um, this week has been a long, today has been a long day, I've had a few long days, uh, actually um, pull up my notes for you so that is the baby um today before i get into all that i just wanted to make sure i answer what write down all my notes i've taken um i had my first bad day of pregnancy the other day um last sometime last week i can't remember i want to say it was thursday i opened for work so that means i got up at 2 15 in the morning um out running errands busy day school day on thursday uh it's my late one of my late days so i didn't i can't even remember what my schedule was like it was just crazy um yeah work was crazy school was crazy um i can't remember but i know i came home um by the time I got to, my, it was either Wednesday or Thursday, but by the time I got to one of my, my last class, um, my hips were hurting, my back was hurting, my feet were so swollen in my tennis shoes. Um, yeah, actually, no, I want to say it was Tuesday at work. Tuesday. Um, yeah, so I had school, work, work school, and I had to run errands in between those two. Um, either way, whenever I got through class, about halfway through, my shoes started feeling really tight and really hot. Um, I had swelling happening in my feet. My back was killing me. My hip was killing me. My feet were so swollen. You know how you have the seam in your sock? Um, that was cutting into my toes because I was so swollen. Um, but Keith took care of me. He came home. Uh, actually, he was already home. So, yeah, he helped me with my shoes off, rubbed my feet, helped to get the fluid moved back had dinner ready made for me um so he has taken care of me um he went to the grocery store because all i wanted to eat was cereal and what we had didn't sound good so he went to the store for me um 
And whenever he went to the store, I told him I wanted a little piece of brownie or something. But he couldn't find a little brownie, and I told him, don't worry about it. But he brought me home a Swiss roll, um, Little Debbie Swiss rolls. Those used to be one of my favorite snacks. So I had my first one post-op of those. Um, took a while to eat it because my band was tight. But it really wasn't that great. So uh, Swiss rolls, give them, take or leave them now. Um, I know I used to love Swiss rolls so much that I actually bought Justine some and gave them to her while we were on the cruise because I loved Swiss rolls. Um, um, nesting has set in for me. Like officially I've done baby laundry. We got all our baby gear and necessities. We got our pack and play stroller, our car seat set and ready to go for baby. Um, have clothes washed and stored and packed away. Um, and there's some projects. I was working on some projects. And Saturday was not a good day for me either. I just couldn't get anything right. I messed up one project. Completely totaled another one to where it's not fixable. So I had to go buy more fabric. Um, and to me, I'm just like, that's wasted money. So living and learning. And I have found a use for the extra fabric. Um, Lola will be getting a pajama jump set. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's been interesting. Um, my emotions are getting harder and harder to control at some points. Um, I don't know why I'm so, I, uh, hormones, 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 guys. Even this morning I was listening to the radio and it was a really sweet, touching message. And I was just like, oh my God, that's so sweet. We're like trying to do my makeup. It was a mess. Um, excuse me. So that is one thing um also this week <laughs> I went and saw my I went and saw midwife today because they are the intake patients for the new OBGYN practice I'm going to excuse me um but it was on the third floor of the building and I was like oh third floor no big deal Whew. I live on the third floor of my apartments I can do the steps but I couldn't find the stairs, and I'd take the elevator. And I felt bad for taking the elevator. People were like, look, the fat girl's taking the elevator. And I know I'm not fat anymore, but that's just how I'm seeing it as myself. Um, so, yeah, I'm still taking the stairs when I can, even though it, I feel like I'm smoking again and at my heaviest whenever I come up the three flights of stairs. So it's a give and take and having to learn that my body is just like, take the damn elevator, lady. Um... Also, diaper bag. I'm like, what do I pack in my diaper bag? Not diaper bag. Hospital bag. What do I pack in my hospital bag? Obviously, you know, the change of clothes, deodorant, contacts, glasses, contact solution, toothbrush, toothpaste. But what else? Baby's going home outfit. Do I need to pack diapers for the baby? You know, so that's definitely something I need to start thinking about more. Um, have 10 weeks. Uh, so we will see. So today I went to saw the midwife and I am so sad that they are full for December birth. Um, I loved the midwife. I wanted to use a midwife to deliver. Um, I wanted to go to a more natural approach. I want to try other options besides going straight to the epidural. I want to do the whirlpool tub. I want to sit on the ball. I want to try all these other methods before resorting to medicine medicine. So we talked and it was great and just so sad that they are booked. She said that if they do get an opening though, she would give me a call and we would get me in with the midwife practice instead. Um, so we went and saw them. We listened to the baby baby. Uh, Harpy was in the 150s. We couldn't get it to get a good signal long enough for it to actually like read an exact number. It got to 150 a few times here and there in the 150s. Um, she felt the baby, and you know, which I enjoyed. Um, my regular OB, they just put the heart rate, the Doppler on you and call it good. They don't feel around and everything. And she felt the baby and said the baby was breached for now. Um, but not to worry because there is plenty of room in this belly for this baby to flip and that it's still a little early for the baby to settle into getting out position. So not too worried about that. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, just sucks that I can't stay with her. She was awesome. And another thing with the midwife practice is there are only two of them. 
some guaranteed hurt or the other for delivery, whereas the nurse practice, I think it's like eight to 10 women. So I have a one in 10 chance of actually having my doctor on my delivery day. So, which I knew that going into this regular, you know, chances of having your actual OBGYN are slim to none. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, baby's moving around in here. Um, while I was seeing her, I did get my DTAP shot, which also protects your baby against pertussis here. In Washington, that is a really, um, last year was an epidemic in Washington with the pertussis cases and babies. So I got mine now. And the pro, pros plus whatever to me getting it now is the baby will get slight immunity as well. Obviously will not be 100% immune until eight weeks when I can get it, the actual shot for the baby. Um, but that actually takes a lot of worry off of me. I was worried about who has a shot, who hasn't had the shot. Are they gonna be able to see my baby if they haven't had the shot? Um, I'm probably gonna go a little bit mama bear once the baby is here and be very protective. If you have the sniffles, sneeze, coughs, whatever, do not bring your ass around my baby. <laughs> I know that sounds mean and harsh, but I am putting up a lot to get this baby here. And I do not want it to have to go into the hospital because you had the sniffles and you wanted to see the baby and you couldn't wait two weeks till you were cured or healthy or whatever. Um, so fair warning to anybody. Don't come see me if you got the sniffles. Uh, don't see my baby if you have the sniffles. <laughs> um... Talking to the midwife, you know, talking to her about my birth plan and what I would like to have happen and see happen. Uh, she said I might want to look into hiring a doula. And so that's something I have to look into. Is I don't even know how about finding a doula. Google. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will be doing that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. I am on two week visits now to go see the OB. Um, so I go see her November 1st and then I'll be every two weeks after that until I think 36 weeks. Oh, um, I did ask her about, uh, what is the OB's practice for inductions past due date? Because it's just an estimated due date. You know, you never know when I would like to hold off as long as I can, um, before medical intervention to have my baby. Um, whether that's induction or epidural. Um, and she said the midwife practice, they go up to 42 weeks. OBs, they could go up 41. And they try to stay statistically and give you all these facts and odds, like statistically anything after 41 weeks results in a higher C-section rate. Um, she's been practicing for 20 years, and she has yet to actually see that statistic proven in her practice as a midwife. So it's one of those. We'll see. Maybe if I don't deliver, I'll call and be like, hey, you want to take me on for my last two weeks? Um, she said, of course, they do an ultrasound at 41 weeks to make sure baby is uh, good, good fluid level, good baby looking on the monitor. And so that is what they do there. So, I mean, we will see because the first baby can come late. Um, so, or come early. I don't know. I don't know. This baby's going to do what it wants to do. Um... So, yeah, that is the craziest day in a nutshell. Uh, I'll give you the body, the belly shot. Ugh. Alright, real quick, because I gotta answer this phone call. Alright, 30 week belly. Alright, guys, bye.